So welcome back to the sawmill, friends. We're down here in the shop today and we're doing some more spray foam. We've done this about a month ago. It went over really well. That video actually performed really good. It got over 300,000 views. A lot of people wouldn't wear this product. But today, we've moved up a little bit in our kit size. This is the larger kit by Vega Bond. It's actually, let me read the label so you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is the RF600. There's links down below, guys, to all this stuff. You can go check it out for yourself. And also, before I get too uh, far along here in the video, Vagabond also gave me a coupon code for you guys. So if you're interested in this product, you can save some money. All that information is down in the video description. Now this is a spray foam insulation kit. It's closed cell spray foam, which is my favorite kind of spray foam. I've used them all. And this came with two different tanks of two different kinds of chemicals that mix together to form the spray foam when it comes out of the gun. This is an example of what it looks like last month when I got the smaller kit from Vagabond. I went ahead and started insulating the building. I actually got to this wall right here. As you can see, that's as far as I got and I ran out of stuff. But this is what it looks like when you spray it on your metal wall or wood wall or whatever you're putting it on. And you can see the metal on this wall because at this point right here, my can was getting pretty low and I didn't get the coverage I was after like I got in the other walls. And look over that orange stuff right there. I had some leftover uh, spray foam in the can that you get from Lowe's. And I actually emptied those out as well when I was in here the other day. Went ahead and got rid of them and filled in some cracks. But this is what the application looks like when you spray it on the wall. So let's talk numbers real fast. This kit is good for 600 board feet. It costs just over $800. It comes in at about $1.30 a square foot when you do the math as far as the coverage goes. Now it says it has 600 board feet of coverage and that's just like board feet and lumber if you're figuring on one inch. So this will cover 600 square feet on an inch of thickness and the company says that one inch of their closed cell phone spray is R7 as far as the R value goes. This kit also comes with all your PPE equipment. It comes with a can of hose cleaner. That way if you want to take a break, you can clean out your guns and they don't get clogged up on you. It has 10 foot of hose. It has a mask. It also has a suit to wear. I'm not going to be wearing the suit today because all the applications we're doing are on a wall. If I was doing this overhead, I would probably wear the suit so it didn't drip down on my clothes. I am wearing old work clothes today. Not, I don't think I'd really mind to be honest with you, but if it gets in your hair, that does make a mess. But it does come with all that stuff if you want to use it. I will wear the goggles and the respirator today and the gloves, but not the suit because we're doing the walls. The reason we're spraying this on metal and not just using fiberglass insulation is because we want a thermal barrier and I hope that's the right terminology. I believe I'm saying this right. If I'm not, look over me and I'm sure somebody down in the comments will correct me. But we want a thermal barrier between the metal and the actual fiberglass insulation that I'll put in this wall once we do the spray foam. If we did not do that, when this metal sweats, because it will sweat because this building is gonna be climate controlled with a heat pump and also a wood stove. And if the metal was not covered with this closed cell insulation, it would sweat on the fiberglass Therefore, you would have mold and your R value would just go down tremendously with mold being the worst problem. Before we get started, I want to refresh my memory with the email that Vagabond sent me as far as the requirements on the conditions that you want when you apply this spray foam. So look over me here as I read these off to you. 
You want the temperature to be between 70 and 75 degrees Fahrenheit. The hoses are color coded, but it does not matter which color goes to tank A or tank B. That's good to know right there. All right, guys, let's get sprayed. All right, guys, one more thing before we get started. I just want to point something out to you guys. If you do order this kit, this does not come with it, but I am going to be using it today. This is the mask they send you to wear in order for your lungs to not get damaged by this stuff. And this would probably work fine if I was clean shaven. But as you can see, I'm not clean shaven. I can't get a good seal with that. So I'm going to use this mask right here that I've had for a couple of years now. So this does not come with the kit. This one does. If you don't have a beard like me, this is probably all you need. But since I can't get a good fit because of this beard, I'll be using this today. All right? All right. Let's get started. friends i just finished up i got a little bit of cleanup to do i thought i'd go ahead and give you guys my thoughts before i start on all that the first thing i guess the only thing i guess i would have done different i would have wore those coveralls they sent me because some of that stuff did leak down my arm and uh some of it got in my beard and my hair i tell you i'm a mess i probably should have wore that suit 
even though I wasn't doing a seal and I probably should have put that on. So if you're going to do this guys, wear the suit because it will save you a lot of heartache when you're done because now I get to go up to the house and get some uh, acetone or some fingernail polish remover if we have any and try to get this stuff off my forearm. It's all over me, all over me, part of it. I tell you what friends, I'm really happy with how this turned out and those taints have a lot in them. I tell you what, I did the three areas I was going to do, the two walls on the gable sides, the back wall, and also the molder room near the power panel. And when I got all that done, I figured I'd be about out of that stuff. And I think I had about half of it left, to be honest with you. Those tanks were still pretty heavy. So I came over here to these walls and I put a second coat on them, another inch. So I got more insulation than I thought I would get, to be honest with you. It turned out pretty good. And something else I think would have been a good idea to have a rolling cart to put those taints on to push them around to the different areas that you're working on because that was kind of aggravating. Once I got done on a wall, in order to move to the next wall, the next room, I had to pick up my hose, the sprayer, and the two taints and move everything together. And that right there was kind of aggravating as far as moving stuff around. I tripped a few times, to be honest with you, trying to get stuff over there, as I couldn't see how that masked really well. Here's my final thoughts and my tips on this. If you're going to do it, wear the suit and put those taints on a cart that you can roll around. That would make a huge difference right there. But all in all, I'm happy I've done it. I would do it again. It does create kind of a mess, but as soon as that stuff dries on the floor, you just take a snow shovel or a broom and scrape it off and you're good to go. So it's not really that bad. So once again, guys, I'm gonna leave a link down below to where I get this stuff at from Vagabond and they also sent a coupon code so you guys can save some money if you wanna order. And they have a smaller kit, I think it's the 200. So if you don't want the 600, they do sell a smaller kit now. So thanks for watching friends. I hopefully you got something out of this and learned something today. I know I learned a lot about it. Every time I use this spray foam, I learned something different. So thanks for watching friends. I really appreciate it. We'll see you guys back here on the next video.